All right, hello. I've uh, built a little GUI library for the uh, Seed Studio 2.8 uh, 2.8 inch TFT touch screen uh, shield for Arduino, and this is a demonstration of that uh, for the version one of the library. And I'll just show you here. I've got just the battery and the, the shield on an Arduino Uno Rev3. And we'll turn it on. This camera is not real good at focusing in here, so I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, the library name is Touchscreen Menu. Uh, even though uh, it does more than just menuing, I will go through the menu functions first. As you can see here, we have uh, a menu with several items, and it has a, a name of main menu. All of the uh, colors and the font size uh, and the menu item spacing and padding is all customizable. We can go into the submenu functions first to show how that would work. Here's a submenu. We can do left justification, right justification. Uh, smaller font. It's kind of hard to see again on this camera, but uh, spacing changes between the menu items. Padding within each menu item. Then we'll go back to the front. Uh, just your basic graphics functions. I don't know if you can see that very well on here or not. Arcs, pi arcs, circles, filled circles, uh, rectangles, filled rectangles, line drawing, pixels. Uh, various types of buttons are available. Um, circle buttons. My finger's going to get in the way on these. Um, the graphics buttons that you can override. Uh, in this case, th these four in the middle here are uh, pre-set up um, arrow buttons with different colors. And then you can see there's a horizontal and vertical uh, meter bar. Let's see here if I can do this without blocking the camera. Basically the meter gives you the ability to do uh, values between 0 and 1 and then you can map that to whatever uh, values you really want. Various types of labels with filled backgrounds, non-filled backgrounds, uh, different font sizes. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, I hope somebody besides me finds this useful. I, I just needed a GUI, a simple, uh, something with a simple interface that I could use. And this is it. You can find it on code.google.com. Um, and I'll put the URL in the post.